It has been 10 years since natural gas from Russia started flowing through the Nord Stream pipeline. Nord Stream 1, that is. And while Nord Stream 2 has been completed, it is not yet clear if or when gar gas will start flowing there. Meanwhile, overall Russian supply to Europe has fallen despite a major energy crisis. While deliveries to Nord Stream 1 have been steadily rising, supply through previously used pipelines has gone down. As you see there, deliveries to Ukraine have been falling for years from 274 million cubic meters in 2016 to just about a third that last month. Also, deliveries to Belarus, stable until yet last year, have now more than halved. Now, those are some of the factors that have been leading to higher gas prices here in Europe, and it could also play a role in getting the controversial Nord Stream 2 pipeline approved. Now, a short while ago, I spoke to Claudia Kempfert. She heads the Department of Energy, Transportation and Environment at the German Institute for Economic Research, and I asked her what she made of Russia's pledge to deliver more gas to Europe starting today. Well, there are no signs that'll actually happen. Well, we already heard that two weeks ago, so we will see what will happen. So Russia obviously wants to a little bit to de-escalate the whole conflict, whether this is really true or not. We will see at the end, but what is really happening is that Russia is not right now delivering uh, through the uh, important pipelines of the Ukraine and the others. And that's um, that's conflicting. And uh, this is why we have to uh, face that natural gas is a problem, especially in this winter. Do you think that Russia is keeping its finger on the tab, as you mentioned, you know, rare deliveries or less deliveries uh, through Uk uh, Ukraine pipelines? keeping his finger on the tap to increase pressure on Germany to actually approve Nord Stream 2. The pipeline has been completed, but it can't operate yet. Yeah, it seems like this. And Russia itself has already said that they want to have a quick start of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. But, uh, I mean, to certificate the pipeline, it needs time. And uh, Europe has to face uh, that there's this um, bundling law that uh, the uh, transportation and also um, the use of the pipeline needs to be from different companies. And this is why it takes time. And we will see we are in the middle of a power game right now how this ends. Uh, German politicians uh, that have been pro Nord Stream 2 pipeline have always been saying, you know, all the critics should kind of calm down. Russia in the past has been a reliable partner when it comes to energy matters. Is Russia still that partner? Well, it's a reliable partner. However, we see that Russia always uses a gas as a weapon, as a political weapon, uh, when it wants to get his interests, its interests through. And this is happening again and again. And this is why it's so important uh, to reduce the dependency on Russian gas and to get away from natural gas in the future and not to... Um, increase also the the dependency by also classifying a natural gas as a green energy in the taxonomy for example right now we are dealing and have to uh, tackle the climate policy goals and this is why natural gas uh, demand needs to be declined and uh, this is this must be the answer in the future to get out of this power game Claudia Kempfert of the German Institute for Economic Research thank you